5.5b. We're going to learn how to use the loft feature. This one teaches you how to use it as a cutting tool, but at the end I'll also show you how to connect two two-dimensional shapes together with almost like an extrusion. Um, okay, new part file. Start 2D sketch. Do a rectangle two and a half by one and a half. It's often a good idea to do center everything around your origin, so you don't have to create work planes later. You can just make them visible. Finish sketch. That would mean you'd also want to extrude this symmetrically. Often helpful. 1.5 inch extrusion. Now we need to draw these two sketches on the front and back face, and then we're going to cut out the material from one triangle to another. So, start 2D sketch. Let's draw a line from the top, somewhere down to the middle, back up to the top, to that red line up here. And then we dimension it. you got to click on the end of the line. This is 0.25. It's not where I want it to be. Um, let's try this side. And that screws that up. This one also needs to be 0.25. We need equal constraints on here. And then I guess what we're going to have to do is do a coincident constraint with this and this and then this and this. You might not have to do that if you do it right, which I apparently did not. Okay, finish sketch. Around to the back side. Do another 2D sketch. Similar process. Got some ant trails showing up. So I'm just going to pick somewhere. I'm going to go in and dimension it. Now if you click on the line itself, it'll want you to put in an angle. That's not what we want. So click on the end. This is 0.5. Same on the other side. And then this one is actually 0.75. And then equal constraints here and here. There are other ways you could do this. This is just the way the instructions have us do it. Finish sketch. Now click on loft. We want to do a cut. It's, so we're going to first click on this sketch and then click on actually what we want to cut. And then we need to come up here and say click to add. Turn it around. Just holding the middle mouse button and dragging. Click on this sketch, and then click on this triangle, and OK. And then you have it. File, Save As, 5.5B, Loft, Cut, Practice, Initials. Now let me quick show you how to do a different kind of loft, not a cut. So, new part file. Start 2D sketch. Gonna do whatever, doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the XZ plane. I'm gonna draw, doesn't really matter, pick a, pick a shape. Start the origin if you want to. We want this to be fairly crazy, just to show what loft can do. So I'm gonna finish that sketch. Now, I want to do an, off, a, an offset plane from this plane. And so this plane is my XZ plane. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to right click on it in my browser and say visibility. Now I'm going to say plane, offset from plane. Click the plane you want it to be offset from. Say however far you want it to be offset, 5 inches, puts it way up there. You can actually change that. 
if you want. I'm going to change it to three inches, let's say. Okay, now I'm going to draw on this sketch. So start 2D sketch on this plane. And then draw some shape that's crazy. Let's do a polygon. And let's draw it way over here. Finish that sketch. Now I can connect these two magically with the loft feature. First let me get rid of the visibility on my planes here. So click loft, which is over here. Click on one shape, click on the other, and it will connect those two together. And so you have this weird shape that perfectly connects it from one to the other. Not sure what that is. File, save as. 5.5b other loft initials.